Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. Um, sort of looking through these. I'm not getting much inspiration here. I mean, there's some chain there, but really it doesn't sort of... Um, and wall as well. I don't think wall would do anything. And then we've got bits of fence and stuff in here. And again, it's, it's not really... Right, I'm, I'm not really sort of getting a load of inspiration on that. So we... No, I don't want to do sticks. Um... What do I what 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 do I want to do here? Like um, stairs, upside down stairs. If I was to use, I wonder. Let's remove those two a minute, and then would it work if I was to do two of them side by side? Maybe if I was to go there and there. No, that's still leaving that gap. There's no connection between these two. Right, that's, so we, we've, we've got that, which means that we need to have something else here for to sort of mark out the edge of where this glass can go. Either that, or we need to have an actual block of glass and use that instead. Because if I was, like, if I put a block of glass there, that would come out through and that would do it. Um... I don't know if maybe putting something on top of the block of glass. No, that's not gonna that's not gonna work either. That 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 doesn't really sort of fit. And this piece of glass here, this has been lost now. That's one thing you can't do is pick up bits of glass. They're 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 gone forever once you make your mistakes. And so what else can we do? Looks like we might be Back to doing this idea here, which, to be honest, I didn't really want to do. Right, I didn't really want to have it like that. I mean, I know that we've got that. It's a bit lighter. I know we've got these darker pillars coming up. And I like that on the corners, but I'm just not sure about the rest of it. I mean, what we could do is we could have this and then we could have some steps over the top that are upside down to make that work. It's... Either that, or I need to have big square pieces of glass instead of the thin panes like this. Which, it's not ideal really, as far as I'm concerned. Oop, okay, I didn't want to do that. It broke my legs coming down there. Um, yeah, that's that's not ideal really. I'd, I'd like to do that a little bit differently. I'm, um, I didn't realise that those didn't join together. We could, there's, there's one other thing that we can try. And I'm going to get that now. We want to go in here. We're going to take iron ingots. We'll take a few of those. Now, obviously, iron is a little bit expensive for us. We don't have lots of it right now. There's a few more bits of glass. And let me have a look in here and dump in a bit more coal. So that keeps going. Um, yeah, we iron is something is one material that is a little bit scarce. And so we don't want to be using up large quantities of iron. We want to save that a little bit. We, but at least until we're able to build our iron farm. And I've got so many things that I want to build. I've been thinking about a mob spawner and a mob farm. And I've also been thinking that, well, maybe we don't need to worry about that one at the moment. Because, like, the, the mob spawner situation, that's... Um, uh, I, yeah, it's a good source of arrows, and there's a few other bits and pieces that we would get from it. I didn't mean to jump off of there. Let's go back over this way a second and uh, get back up here. Uh, yes, yeah, good source of arrows and stuff, but yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely not sure how much I want in a way of mob spawners. Not at the moment. So I might, I might just sort of wait a little bit before I build a mob spawner. Anyway, uh, go in here. I want to put those in there. So that, well, that will give us four. I don't need any more than that at the moment to run this little test. So I'm going to put you in like that. Oh, and there was one other thing that I want to do. Uh, how do you build there? You need six of these, and that gives you 16 iron bars. So we'll take some iron bars, and we will have a look at these. So let's go with the axe right there 
and remove these. And the iron bars, you can build these. In, and yes, right. So we can. These can be built into a fence. You can have a fence, and that's what comes out to the end. Now I'm curious. I think you've got to use a pickaxe to remove these. Yeah, pickaxe does remove them. So we have an iron grill there. Ooh. Can you have gold grills? Could we have a gold colored one? And have like a, a gold bit in between the the metal work. And uh, the, the other thing I want to find out is, can I put down a fence and have the... Ah, it doesn't go up to the fence. Nothing goes to the fence. Why does nothing join to the fence? It's supposed to. I want a narrow kind of edge on it. I can put a different one in. I can put that in so I could have like a, a block on here. And really matter what block I use, I'm going to put that one in. Um, so I could put that one in and then the fence does come out to it. But that's, that's just not the same, is it? So I, I, I maybe get rid of the glass completely on the inside. Might be the answer. Right, well, you you got to go. Unfortunately, the fences, we can't have the fences. That's, that's got to go. And then we've got to make a decision in here. It's the gold. I, I, I want gold. Uh, let me go in here and see. Do we have gold fences? We've got iron bars. Can we have gold bars like that? A gold grill like that. Is that even a thing? I've got gold ingots there. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I have no idea, but I'm about to go and find out. Let's go and have a look. Actually, I'll tell you what. We'll have a little bite to eat while we're on our way. Um, I'm very curious about this. Just a bit to eat. There. And go and have a look in here. Right, take these gold bars a second and come over to here. And... Ah... I had high hopes for that. I really did. Uh, what have we got in the way of crafting with gold bars? Let's go in here and search gold. We don't have a lot. We can do blocks of gold, which is... Yeah, this is a little bit garish. I don't, I don't really want to do that. That's, that's it for gold, though. That, that is absolutely it for gold. Right, okay. So we're not using gold up there. Uh, I kind of like the idea of using emeralds up there for the storage. I've got some iron bars. I'll keep a hold of the iron for a minute. Uh, let's scoot back up to the top and have another look and see what we can do. So we know that we can put an iron, so iron bars across. They look all right, I guess. Um... It's where, and But still, they don't join into the fences. I could just use fences. I could do light fences in between and then darker fences and do like a, a double line of those. If I was to go uh, birch, I want some birch here a minute. Let's have some of those and some of those. Right, we're going to here. So I'm going to need sticks i have to have sticks to do this i'm going to take you and we're going to make a load of these and then you're going to go here like that like that there that's going to give me six bits of birch fence that we can have a little play around with and so if I go, I'll go out onto this side to have a look at this bit. So we want to put down, we've got our gap of two in there. So I want to put down the dark oak fence on there. And then if we go with this fence here, like this, that's the effect that we get. That's not all bad, actually. That's, that's definitely not... Yeah, I... I'm I'm thinking that that might be a an acceptable kind of um, thing to have on there, right? And then we can have some of this, and maybe we could go along the top. I don't want glass blocks. I would want glass panes because the glass panes we could do this, right? I'm gonna need just a 
stepping stone here so that I can get up and see what I'm doing. I'm going to want... Okay, I don't have any um, dark oak here. I want some of those. Right, and then we can go back up here. Okay, so we'll put dark oak up on there like that. This, I want to go three high, so I actually need some more birch. So let's go and get that so that we've got that. Ooh. Or do I? No, 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 no. Let's, let's leave it low like this. And then we'll go fence, fence, uh, sorry, glass, glass, and over to there. And then this one, this is the one. I, I don't know if I want this one here. Or if I want another one on top. And then I want to go glass on here, up to there, and another bit of glass over to there. And then this one is going to go like that. The only point, see, yeah, and then the fence underneath that kind of looks a bit out of place now, doesn't it? Which means that I want to get rid of that and those two. And really, I would just want the plain dark oak planks when we keep this. We could keep the, keep the fence underneath and have the glass on the top. We come over to this side and we get, well, we'll take out those iron bars Let's not worry about the bit on the, the side of that just yet. We've got two bits of fence that we can put in. So I'll put one and two in there. That will come up. And then I can come onto here. Actually, no. We're going to want... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a test with the other sort of sort on this one. I'm going to get rid of them a minute. And I'll do a test with just the plain dark oak planks like this. So if I go one here and I go one here and then we climb up a bit and we put one up there, uh, I'll go up there like that. I need to get up on top of there. So let me go up this way and put one up on there and then this one would come not like that. No, I think I need to aim it at the top there like that. So that would kind of go there, and we'd have a straight pillar here. I I think that might look better. Get rid of this, like that, and we put in that one there. That one's got to go as well. That's going to just look a little bit daft if he's um, in like that, which means that we want to put this one in here, and then we'll have our axe a second, and we'll get rid of that. So... The question we need to ask ourselves is, tick you off, tick you off, right? Do we have the glass all the way to the bottom or do we have the fence? I mean, I could put the fence all the way up to the four blocks high. That looks a little bit out of place there, just, it looks, the problem is it looks a bit clunky, doesn't it? Like when you look at it like that, it, it just looks clunky. And I could put this in on this side and make it look a little bit more substantial. And so I get rid of that pane of glass and I put that up. But do I go for the fence up through or do I go for the glass up through? And I'm genuinely torn on this. Genuinely torn. Which one is going to look better? I'm thinking at the moment I'm going to go with the... That one's definitely got to go up there. We'll get rid of that one and we'll put this one in like this. So we've got that. And then let's get rid of these panes of glass here. Like this. They can go. And then we'll build a little bit more fence. Nighttime is coming in fast. We will do a little bit more fence like that. Uh, actually, I don't need to do any more than that. I can just put those two there. One, two, three, four, like that. Take these and put them in there. And then I can go and have the fence in here like this. Put in another bit and then put 
that bit in there. So we've got fence on that side and we've got glass on this side. We'll go back we'll come back and finish that in a bit. We'll go and get a bit of shut eye for a second. And then we can run back and we can finish that. We've also got the 11 uh, book blocks to put down and do something with. Um, I'm, I'm still unsure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them as they are right now. Let's go and get a bit more glass. We've got a bit more in here. And I'll have a look at you. Okay, we've got plenty in there. We've got lots of sand still to drop through, though. Uh, I'm going to leave the two sides as they are. And I'm going to ask for your opinion. So I'm getting a little way ahead. I'm actually recording quite a bit in advance at the moment because I'm um, going to be taking a bit of a holiday f um, with Sen. Uh, we're not going anywhere. We're just having a bit of a holiday. Um... So I'm sort of trying to get a bit ahead with my recordings and so on. So it's going to be a little while before I'm able to get the feedback on this. So I'm going to just kind of leave it sat in limbo for a little while while I wait for um, people to sort of come back and let me know what they want. But this is the two sides that we've got. We've got straight up down like that or we've got that on that side. Now the other the, the one other thing that I was wondering about was having that and the oak fence. But I mean I kind of actually like now that I'm looking at it. I kind of like these pillars on here. I'm also wondering how high I should make the roof. Whether we should go with the roof being at that height or we should go one higher. Personally, at the moment, looking at this, I'm thinking I should actually go one higher. And there's a very specific reason for that. If we go up here, um, I'm going to need to just build up a second here like this. If I go up by one more like that and then bring that one out across like that. I go over this way and I bring that out this way like this. Um, oops, I want to do that. I come out there like that. And then I will go and we'll sort of start building the next floor. But the next floor will actually be on top of that. So this is going to be part of the wall right here. So I'll go around over here and I'll actually finish off this wall and so that we can see what it's going to look like, what I would like it to look like. Um, I mean, we could do some slight alterations. I'm not sort of, you know, it, it doesn't have to be exactly like it is right now. It'll sort of come out like that somewhere except that the one over on the end will be upright rather than it is what it is right now, but we'll deal with that later. So kind of like that... Um, the only other option that I'm thinking about right now that I'm kind of like wondering about is if I was to get rid of that completely and not have this archway and then go in here and we take this fence like this and we go one, two, three, four like that and we have our fence like that. And we, we literally have the doorway like that. So we could have it arched with the glass panes on this side. Or we could just have it like this with a gap in between. It leaves a wider gap in between down here. I might actually build another section over here. And we'll do one with glass and we'll do one with the timber like this on both of them. And then we can see it a lot clearer. So let's just do that very quickly. Right. So if I scramble up here... And climb up onto there, and then I want to get rid of this one. Okay, that one's gone, gone now. Uh, we'll get you on the ears. Way, way down. Uh, yeah, I want an upright like that. Then I want to come over this way, and I want to just finish out this bit like this. We'll go out to the edge, and I mean, the joy of this is that I can put that down like that. So that one will come up there. And then coming this way, I'm not going to be doing anything different. So we'll get we'll get the whole room done. And I will use 
two different techniques for sort of finishing off the room. So we're gonna, that one's going to come up there like that. Uh, this is a, well, actually I'm not sure that this is going to be a corner room. So the one on this end, I'm not going to do anything to because we could extend the library out that way a bit more yet. Um, but I will leave the rest of it like that. So I don't need to come up here anymore, which means I can come over on here and chop that down. There, I've got that one block way down there that I kind of want to go and get. Seems like such a waste to leave it all the way down there. Let's go and get that one, shall we? Right. I'll climb down here a minute and we'll run off and get it. At the risk of great personal harm, I might add. Very, very great personal harm. Uh, how do I get out of here? I know there's a way to parkour my way over onto this side. There we go. We can parkour our way up here like this. Parkour is not my strong point and... Okay, no, I need to parkour over this side. This is where we get out. We come out over here, and I cut a little path up here before, didn't I? That was how I escaped. Right, I have escaped. We need to come back over here, like this. Swing on to the ladder, and up we go. So, if I get rid of these bits of fence right here a second, so that they are gone completely... And then we will do all glass on this side, just the glass panes, exactly how I want this to look. If we go with the whole glass pane approach. So we will put you down here. I've got the glass panes right there. This one is going to go straight up like that. And then we will put in this one here. Now, I don't think that this is going to look better if I have it so that's going to go like that i don't think we should remove that one and put glass up there i think that's going to look a bit odd if we do that i think it should be like this possibly this is too dark i mean it is a very dark wood it's it is sort of slightly overpowering on it but i think overall it's going to work it's going to cr sort of create the effect that i want in here so i'm going to put those in there and that one up there like that, you in here, and then we go one there like that, one there like that, boom, and boom. Right, so that's one side, that's one possibility, we've got that one there, so do you want the glass panes option that we've got right there, or option number two is going to be over here. I need to make a couple more fences, which means I need a couple more of other bits as well. So I'm going to... I've got those acacia logs there. Uh, these are probably the easiest ones to get. So I'll turn these into some sticks a minute. There. 12. I've got loads of sticks downstairs. I don't need to be doing this. But I'm still doing it. Right. We'll drop them in there like that. I'm going to want one lot here. How have I got four dark oak fences? Because I make three at a time in there. What else have I used dark oak fences on? I got some missing somewhere. And I don't know where. And it bugs me, that does. Like that, that really does irritate me. So I'll just pick those up and drop them in there. And then we've got... Right, that's enough there. 24 is exactly right. And that's everything that I need to do. Oh, that's where we had the dark oak fences, was out there. Okay. Then we can come in here. We've got our dark oak blocks. So they... Actually, no, I don't want dark oak blocks, do I? We don't want any blocks at all on this one. Well, no, there's, there's still two options available on that. So on this side, I'm going to do both those. I'm going to give you both of those options to look at. And we're going to go here. We're just going to have a straight pillar like that. And then we're going to go with fence in between like this. Get rid of that. Actually, no, I don't think this is going to... I don't think this is going to be right. I think it's going to end up looking wrong if I do it like this. So I'm going to put that one in there and that one in there. And let's get rid of you. And then I want to come over here. We've got... Yeah, that one. Two, three, four into there. 
and then that goes with fence down the bottom like this. So we put these in, put them down like that, and that joins all the rest together. So it's kind of, we either want it like that, or we want it like that. That gives a more open, no, we're not going to have it. If we're going to have fence all the way up, I think we will do it without the pillar. I think it'll be kind of like this. It gives it a more open feel, and I kind of like that, to be honest. If I'm going to go with this, if I'm going to do the fence technique, it's going to look like that. And then we come into our actual library. On the outside over here, this is just going to be... Because at the moment, I'm kind of thinking this is going to be an open um, window. So that's just going to be a big pane of glass in there. And it's going to be the thin glass like that. Now, next up, I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to remove this. Like this. I'm going to remove the top. I don't want a top piece on this. But what I'm wondering is, do I go for the signs down the bottom like that? Or do I put the book blocks, bring them up by one, and have the first blocks up here like this? And then have another block on top. So I'm, I'm going to be putting another block here and here like this. And then do I have them like that? Or do we go like that? So there's going to be three high there. Or do I just have them up and off the floor a little bit like that? I don't think I can do... I can't do a half slab and have it just on a half slab. That's that's not an option there. Um, so this is our library. This is our library. I'm going to put name... We'll put some name plates up on there in a minute. And we've got the glass option over this side. Do you want the glass option? Or do you want this option over this side for the library? I, I'm going with a dark wood approach because, you know, a lot of libraries... They, they're old. They have a lot of dark wood around us. That's, that's quite a sort of a, a common theme in a library. Lots of dark wood, old kind of feel to it. And that's, that's the look that I'm going for on there. I want it to look old like that. Um, it's just, do we go with the fence or do we go with the, the, the large panes of glass? Um, there is another option. We could just do iron bars instead of glass. But I don't think that's going to look right, to be honest. Um... Like, the, the overall appearance of it, I don't think it's going to be quite right using the panes of glass. So I, that's, that's why I'm sort of just ignoring that as even an option at the moment. I thought I had more sticks. Right, well, I got more dark oak, but I don't need more dark oak planks at the moment. Right, fine. We'll wander back up. We need to make some signs now. And we need to put names onto some of these books. And then when we've done that, then I will go and get all the piles of dirt that I want. And we will build out the platform over on the other side so that we can just throw down some gardens. And then we're going to need to be looking at maybe building some greenhouses and stuff like that. Um, so I've got two lots of options for you to pick. I want you to choose fences in between or do we go with windows in between the rooms? Fences or windows in between the rooms? And then the actual names with the books, do we go three high like that? Or do we go two high like that and just keep them off the floor? I don't mind either or. If we do it like that, we'll have to have more rooms. Um, but we we can do either way i genuinely don't mind now i'm going to make some signs a minute and when i'm going to write up these names you're not going to want to watch me do that but i will read them all out so that you definitely get um a chance to see your names turning up for those of you who are already in the book and up there all right we've got some new names on here now uh the new names are well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. If you have time, do please consider checking out the links in the description down below. There is one for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers, including but not limited to Minecraft and Farming Simulator. And there is also Fanatical, who sell vast quantities of computer games at very reasonable prices. There is also a discount code in the description alongside the link. If you've enjoyed this video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.